So I just recently got a chance to sit down with Brent Courtright in an episode of our podcast. You can find his in episode two of the podcast. But we got a chance to sit down and talk about what he calls the most important biomarker of your brain health, and that's what's called neurogenesis. And if you've never heard of neurogenesis before, neurogenesis is your brain's ability to produce new brain cells. And it turns out that our body's constantly producing new brain cells all the time. But a really interesting thing is actually 60% of those new brain cells that get formed actually get pruned off before they actually fully mature into fully developed brain cells. So one of the things we talk about on the podcast is different ways that you can actually boost your rate of neurogenesis so you can get more bang for your buck. So in this video, we're going to show you the top five ways to boost your rate of neurogenesis. Now, one of the first ways that you can increase your rate of neurogenesis is through fasting. Now, I know, I know fasting doesn't seem like the most ideal or even the most comfortable way to boost your brain power, but we've known for centuries, if not thousands of years, the benefits of fasting for our overall health, including improving our gut system, improving our immune system, reducing inflammation, and now we know, thanks to Dr. Mark Madsen out of John Hopkins University, that has some substantial benefits for our brain as well. And what Dr. Mark has discovered is that not only does fasting increase our rate of neurogenesis, it also helps boost the production of what we call BDNF. BDNF stands for brain-derived nootrophic factor. And what BDNF does, it also boosts the production of the brain stem cells to mature brain cells but also actually helps preserve the new brain cells that just formed and keeps them from getting pruned off, which is really helpful. So you're kind of getting a double whammy with this in terms of you are increasing your rate of neurogenesis, but you're also increasing the BDNF, which keeps those new brain cells still there. But on top of all of that, the nice thing about fasting is it actually reduces your rate of inflammation. Now we know for certain that inflammation is very, very detrimental to our cognitive and brain performance. So now also by reducing your rate of inflammation, reducing the levels of inflammation in your body and in your brain, you're going to get an increased performance and increased production out of your brain. Now the second way you can boost your rate of neurogenesis is through exercise. And exercise is something that I've had a lot of questions on in terms of how it affects the brain, what's the best type of exercise for your brain for quite some time, and so I've really been looking into this. And one of the interesting things that they found in a Harvard study is what they did is they looked at three different forms of exercise. They looked at resistance training, high intensity exercise training, and aerobic exercise. And what they found was actually really interesting. They found resistance training had virtually zero effect on neurogenesis. But what they found was that high intensity had very minimal effects on neurogenesis, and aerobic activity had the most hands down profound effect on neurogenesis. And they found that the longer the aerobic activity took place, the more benefits for neurogenesis there were. Now I want to be very clear with this too. We're talking about specifically neurogenesis. So that doesn't mean you should avoid all other types of activity and aerobic activity is where it's at. There are extreme benefits to high intensity exercise and resistance training and other forms of exercise, including yoga as well. So and for instance, high intensity exercise training can actually boost your rate of BDNF. So it's very important to have a constantly well-rounded fitness regimen. But in terms of neurogenesis, aerobic activity is where it's at. Now the third way you can increase your rate of neurogenesis is by introducing really high quality good fats into your diet. Now you may or may not know that 60% of your brain is made up of fats, which are really important for your brain, but also 25% of that is cholesterol. So if you want to build the best brain possible and you want to increase your rate of neurogenesis, it's very, very important you have the right building blocks to do so, which means getting good healthy fats into the mix. Now fats have been vilified over the past decade or so for being bad, you want to avoid fats at all costs. Now we know that's just simply not the case. You want to get good healthy fats, including saturated fats, into the mix. Now these can come from things like eggs, which are also really full of good saturated fats and also a good source of choline. And choline is very important for building neurotransmitters, also building blocks for the brain. So don't avoid those egg yolks. Also, good healthy sources can come from a good high quality fish oil full of DHA, which is really helpful for the brain. Also, avocados, wild caught salmon, coconut oil, even nuts can be great sources of healthy fat. But as you're starting to introduce these healthy fats, make sure you avoid the bad fats. And what I mean by the bad fats are the fats that oxidize very quickly, which is typically the vegetable oils. So if you want to build a healthy brain, you want to optimize your brain function, you want to avoid those 
bad fats that oxidize very quickly. Because what happens is when they get into the body and they oxidize, think of it almost like rust. They're rusting inside your body and that creates tons of inflammation, which we've talked about before, very bad for your brain. So the fourth way you can actually stimulate neurogenesis is through getting outdoors. Now, as if you needed any more excuse to go traveling, go to new places, traveling, getting outside, maybe going through a new trail or hiking trail can actually stimulate your rate of neurogenesis by creating new pathways in the brain and stimulating new areas of the brain that you've never experienced before. So get out there, go travel, see the world. Now the fifth way you can actually boost your rate of neurogenesis is by adopting more mindfulness practices. Now in particular we'll be talking about meditation. There was actually a very interesting study that came out that showed that meditation not only increased rates of neurogenesis, it actually boosted levels of BDNF in the blood, which we talked about how important that is, but also decreased inflammation and also improved resiliency to stress in the brain. So if you needed any more excuse to meditate, now's the time. And it can be as easy as just 10 minutes a day. Now in the study, they were doing 20 minutes a day, but studies have also shown that just 10 minutes a day can have profound effects on brain health. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you're looking for more information on how to boost your rates of neurogenesis, you can find more by reading Dr. Brant Courtright's book, Neurogenesis Diet and Lifestyle. Fantastic resource. Love it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe right over this way.